Welcome to Figgles Figgles. Today I am going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So let's get started. The first step is to make a daisy. All we need to do is surround the yellow centerpiece with white edge pieces. If you have any corner pieces, just ignore them for the moment. The next step is to make a cross on the opposite side. Pick one of the petals of your daisy and look at the side under it. Then turn it until it's matching with the centerpiece. For example, I got orange and orange. So I matched it and I turn it two times like this. I find another one and turn it. You do it with all your petals until you end up with a cross. And you got the white cross. When you've done the white cross, we are going to move on to the next step, which is to solve the white side and the bottom layer of the cube. Find the corner piece which has white and two other colours. For example, I got white, blue and orange. And I turn the top layer until it's white, blue, orange. And I do the algorithm. Right side up, top left, right side down, top right. And I do it again until it fits. I do it with all of them, the same algorithm, and I finished it. These have to be always the same as the centerpiece, because then you would not solve the Rubik's Cube. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now let's get back to the video. The next step is to solve the middle layer. This is the hardest step because there are two algorithms and you might get mixed up. So I'm going to call them the left one and the right one. First, search the top face of the cube to find pieces without yellow stickers. So I got these two, which haven't. And I turn them until they match with the... The one here matches with the centerpiece. And... This is going to be the left algorithm because orange is on the left of the blue face. And I do. Top right, left side up, top left, left side down, top left. Turn the face facing you clockwise, top right and turn the same face anti-clockwise and it's in you find another one red green green is on the right so I do the one for the right top left right up top right right down top right Turn the face facing you anti-clockwise, top left, turn the same face clockwise, and it's in. I'm going to do it until all of them match, and when you've done it, we'll move on to the next step. 
In this step, we are going to make the yellow cross. If you have um, yellow pieces like the 9 and 12 on the clock, make sure it's facing you like that. But if you will have it like a line, make sure it's facing you like that. And you do. Turn the face facing you clockwise. Right side up. Top left. Right side down. Top right. And turn it anti-clockwise. And it's like that. So I do it again from the same position. And I've got it. If you have any corner pieces just ignore them the goal of this step is to make these parts of the edge pieces be the same as the centers so first you need to match as, as much of these not by only you moving this so i turned it and i got red orange but I got here too. So the algorithm is top right, right side up, top right two times, right side down, top right, right side up, top right, and right side down. And it's changed, changed. so you move it. Now you have two next to each other, but these aren't match matching. If you have something like that, it can be with any colours, but if you have two that need to switch places because blue is here and red is here, then you start from the one on the right and you do the same algorithm. In the second last step, we are going to position the corners. We search the top layer and see if some are ma matching. For example, I got blue, orange, yellow, blue, orange, yellow. But if it's going to be like blue, orange, yellow, then it doesn't matter. It just has to be correct. But if none of them are matching... Then you start from a random one. In this case, I got blue, orange, yellow that are matching. So I put it on my right and I do the algorithm. Top left, right side up. Top right, left side up. Top left, right side down. Top right, left side down. And they switched. You do it until all of them are matching. In this case, I will need to repeat it again. And they are matching. In the final step, we are going to solve the whole cube. You turn it upside down so the yellow face is at the bottom. You start from one that isn't matching like these. this one is. And you do the algorithm that I taught you at the beginning. Right side up. Top left. Right side down. Top right. And you do it again until they popped in. Then I turn the bottom, the bottom layer until I have another one and I do the algorithm again. It's important to turn it because if you don't, then you won't solve it. And when you're finished, you will have it solved. For watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please press the like button and subscribe for more videos. If you have any ideas for more videos, please put them down in the comments below. See you next time.